The demographic that's seeing that spike typically flocks to places like Wrigleyville for opening day. Yeah, and that's where we find CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey. Megan, opening day just over a week away. Right, Brad and Erica, the patio here at Smoke Daddy has a view of that big screen at Gallagher Way. They're also going to have a live feed of the games. But bars and restaurants near Clark and Addison say that they are taking Mayor Lightfoot's warning about crowds very seriously. No crowds go! No crowds go! Jam-packed bars and summer baseball go hand-in-hand in, hand in Wrigleyville. Last year, we in the morning, you wake up when it's game day and you, you're, you have your staff that's excited and amped up and ready to go. And now this year, it's a ghost town up here. James Miller of Four Star Restaurant Group says baseball brings the neighborhood to life. But next Friday's opening day could be make it or break it for some of these businesses. We're excited to get people back in here, but it, do it in a safe environment. We want to have a full house, but we want to have a responsible house. The northern border of the 60657 zip code butts up to the entrance of Wrigley Field, and it's the zip code that's seen its COVID-19 positivity rate double since last week. In the past, the 18 to 29 year old age group tends to make up a large portion of standing room crowds. But bar and restaurant owners tell us these crowds will not be returning to the neighborhood anytime soon. Mask requirements are posted on business after business around the perimeter of the ballpark, and the Gallagher Way meeting spot is closed. Miller says bar service won't be an option and their capacity will be strictly limited to 25%. We come out here and measure out our tables every day. Six feet is six feet. Like we're not gonna we're not cutting corners. Because even this diehard Cubs fan says fun opening day crowds are not worth regressing back to phase three. <laughs> you won't see it at our restaurant. You won't see it. I, I don't believe you'll see it anywhere. You know, the mayor spoke this morning and everyone gets the point. In order to, for us to continue to have restaurants and have bars, like we have to be responsible. Now the Cubs will face the Brewers in Wrigley Field on July 24th. Of course, this year though, Wrigley will be absent about 40,000 or so spectators. Live in Wrigleyville, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.